uh, you need to view your your chart and you need to identify uh, is this uh, I need to view your chart and differentiate between the market maker trend and uh, the retail trend. Uh, the market maker trend now we have three days. Huh? We have day one, which is the reversal day, where the Euro set the peaks and then uh, he'll move uh, one level. So it comes as a market surprise to retail traders because uh, those using traditional indicators and trend following strategies will see uh, that the momentum for the current trend is still uh, still big. So a big momentum and uh, a strong momentum and uh, the market suddenly reverse, then it's a surprise to them. And sometimes uh, the dealer use news to have this, uh, like what he did on, uh, on the Thursday, we had a very good shift using the news. And then day two now, uh, day two here you'll find 50 and 200 crossover on the other one. And this will, uh, this also marks that uh, all other traditional indicators will fire a signal now that this is a new trend now. So a new trend has been formed. So retail traders will now wait for a confirmation to enter. Uh, even uh, those using moving average in the retail, retail traders world, usually a 50 and 200 crossover will indicate that this is now a new trend. So they will wait for a confirmation, either a bounce to an EMA or a bounce to the trend line because uh, when the dealer sets a peak, See level one and then level two. So here the dealer will allow the retail traders to draw the trend line. So it will be two touches on the trend line. So they wait for a third touch in order for them to enter to enter their orders. So they wait for a confirmation. And here is uh, when we come to day three where market makers will offer that confirmation. So market makers must force their hand to commit funds. And day three, traders are convinced now, this is a real move. Separation of EMAs will be, uh, will be there and separation of EMAs usually indicate now there's a strong momentum uh, in this trend. Uh, see, a third touch to the trend line, several confirmation for retailers will be there for them to enter trades. And then eventually market makers will apply the brakes and reverse. So here we have a graph and uh, this, this, uh, this flashcard shows uh, the market maker trend versus the retail trend. So we have the channel here for an uptrend and you can see uh, we had day one where the market went long. And then on day two, when it's rising, uh, retail traders now will draw this trend line. So this trend line was drawn after these two touches. And then <coughs> at this point here, uh, there's a touching the trend line and this is uh, also an area of resistance. So this was an area of resistance based on the daily time frame. So this touch here uh, allowed uh, retailers to enter shorts. Okay. So retail traders are in short trade and we know best that uh, this is only a pullback uh, for a continuation up. And uh, once they reached, uh, here we have the blueberry and we have the trend line. Once they reached here, see market makers uh, showed a bullish, a bullish confirmation. We have uh, an engulfing candle there and another candle. And then after retailers have entered, they come again to bounce. 
see this uh, this bounce and this bounce here. The retail traders are convinced now this is uh, going to go up. Uh, but uh, market makers came to hunt their stocks down. And you see, has market makers uh, broke this trend line. They came for a retest and then showed a bearish momentum here. So uh, retail traders know that uh, there was an area of resistance here. So this is now uh, a continuation for a downtrend, like a break and a retest. So they enter their sales and we had a news here. We had a fundamental release. This was, this was dollar news here. So right before the news, they show a strong momentum down and then they use the news to shift. So all those who entered sales here, first of all, who entered buys, uh, their stop losses have been hit. And those who have entered sales here, eventually the market makers will take their stops. And those who are having stop losses here, opening orders, also market makers came to break their stop losses. <coughs> and here we have an area of liquidity pool. And the market eventually reversed. So uh, from this flashcard, we see that uh, market makers collected liquidity from this point here, this point here, and this point here. So uh, he did not uh, 